Hi, my name is Drew Strahan. I'm the proud father of a four-year-old and a seven-year-old named Caden and Sean. What we are going to be doing is be going over one of our projects of building a birdhouse. Now, if you're new to woodworking, by means I am no master, I'm not going to be able to teach you too much except for what I mess up on, but hey, let's go see what we did. The first thing I did was I secured my workstation. I took my, um, my super fancy uh, cut door and I put some screws in here. And this was so, as my kids were working, they could not take this and tip the door off of its sawhorses. That was just something to kind of keep it a little A feed square, some screws, a drill. This is called a tapered screw bit, or drill bit. These things are great because they are great for pre-drilling. They uh, won't clear out too much material and they have this really neat um, countersinking piece here. And what that'll do is that'll give you a nice little hole so that your furniture can be nice, uh, have nice and flush. You also are gonna want some safety glasses. Now kids have a real sensitive ears as well. So if you have a set of earplugs or ear, um, ear guards, those would be great for them too because you don't want them to turn something on, drop it to cover up their ears and, and potentially get hurt. For the perch, we just used a hammer and a nail. This birdhouse project was more or less just to get them more familiar with the tools and uh, safety of using them. And so, I, you know, everything's going to be real basic for them to do. So here's my son, Sean, making his first measurements. He's getting ready to make his first cuts. Hello, Sean. Um, we decided here that we're going to use a 1x6, and I think we just used one whole board to do all of this with. Using a speed square, he drew out all of his cuts and made sure everything was nice and at a right angle. And he learned how to draw carefully on each single one. Yep, and then we got visitors too. So Sean went, went to town with his uh, handsaw and he sawed and sawed and sawed and he got real tired. We took a couple breaks. Um, we, you know, were timing him and seeing how fast he can go and soon he was all done. Now, using a handsaw can be very tiring. And my son, he was a trooper. He tried for a long time on that cut and he got really tired. So what we decided to do, and my bad we, I mean me, is I was thinking, what can I do to speed this up? What can I do to have this safe? So I decided to take um, some precautionary measures and I gave him a jigsaw, but also set up and teach him about safety. A jigsaw, while it is a power saw, it is dangerous. I feel with the blade pointing away from you, with uh, being able to have a, uh, a guide fence on it, um, having cl using clamps, and teaching him proper hand positioning, it was a good step into uh, respecting power tools. With a clamp speed square and his hand in a proper position, he went through and started making more cuts, and they went through a lot faster. After that, he nailed in his perch and on the face right underneath where I made a hole for the uh, birds to get in. After he put his perch on, he went to sanding. And we just used some sandpaper, we just cut it up, and he learned how to do that by hand before we started looking at more power tools. Here he is, we are just assembling a, f a few more of these after I pre-drilled them using my tapered bit. And the driver is real nice because he's a lot lighter. After it was all said and done, he was happy to show off his first project all on his own. Now after we had everything uh, constructed, we decided to do some painting. If you ever need to get some paint, if you go to Sherwin Williams for their Color to Go program, you can get a little little uh, hobby bucket like this, maybe like around five bucks. At my kids, after that, my kids went to town and they had a ball with paint. What I did was I took some trash bags, cut them up into some ponchos, and gave them some brushes. Gave them a little bit of ground rules, let them know what they could and could not do as, f as far as mixing paint. And I was there to kind of help rotate the birdhouses around so they can get more paint on there at once. So ground rules were set, as I said, and then we, I gave a, the green bucket to my one son, Caden. He went to town on his, and then Sean was able to take the brown and do his. After a little while, I actually used my wife's hair dryer, don't tell her, to dry the coats so that I can get them to uh, dry faster and we can swap colors quicker. 
when it was all said and done, the boys had a lot of fun, and they got their first project all done. So we got everything all done, we got everything painted, and here we have our projects. You know, as I said, this one was for Sean, this one was Caden's, and they had a whole bunch of fun uh, building these. Um, it gave them some time to see what all the tools did, how to do some painting, and it was something simple enough just to lay some ground rules and get some experience so when we do other projects, they know what to expect and to get the, the first time giddies out of the way. If you have any success with this, that'd be great. I'm going to try to include some um, birdhouse plans down in the description, and if you like this, please give me a, a like and uh, toss me a few comments. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.